welcome you, family, friends, partners, supporters, participants, members, to Power Corps Cohort 3 graduation. My name is Joe Rowell, and I am the Workforce Development Manager at Power Corps. Uh, Power Corps is a green industry-focused workforce development program that really aims to at getting young folks from our communities and places and spaces in the green industry. We'd like to welcome you all today. We're so excited about uh, this cohort's graduation. Like the ones that came pr prior to this one, this one's unique because this is the first time we've had you here. So give yourself a round of applause for completing this. I want to say on behalf of the Power Corps staff, we welcome you. We would like to have um, everyone understand that uh, this is something special for us. We've been working really hard with these young folks for about six months, and the objective of it all is to make sure that they have a different opportunity um, than they've seen prior to this. We want to make sure that um, we welcome all the supporters. City Hall, thank you for having us here. Uh, the wonderful Mayor Wu for having us here in her house, in our house. This is the people's house, let me say it. Uh, having us here. So. Thank you. On this day, we're going to celebrate 32 of our graduates who worked diligently to get the job done as far as starting a pro process and finishing it. So I want to say thank you again for signing up because you came by yourself to make something happen. You should be very proud of this accomplishment. I know there were some days when you're like, oh my goodness, what am I going to be doing here? But the, the, the ultimate uh, goal has been met, so thank you. So without further ado, I would like to welcome uh, one of the people who's very responsible. Oh, before I start that, I want to thank the city council for being here, because uh, they are very key to making sure that some of the funding and the support that we got to get Power Corps started came directly from their support. So I want to say thank you to them and the mayor's team as well. Thank you. So we had you waiting a little while. Thank you for being patient for that. Um, we're going to keep things going. And I would like to um, invite to the stage one of the, the people that I know is instrumental in making sure that this happened. Um, and Chief, <laughs> who always comes with, with, the, with, with, the, uh, with the energy. Um, Mariama is um, who's been a avid supporter of Power Corps from the beginning, and uh, I want to make sure that we didn't have you at last cohort speech, but um, last cohort's graduation. But she's here to bless us today with some words. So, without further ado, Chief Mariama. I'm going to keep it short, but I just wanted to take this opportunity. Um, to celebrate all of you. Many of you were there when I came at the beginning of the cohort to tell you a little bit about how it got started. Um, and I wanted to shout out uh, formerly City Councilor Bach, but now Administrator Bach, um, who was there at that first trip to Philadelphia. We saw it and we were like, we have to bring this to Boston. Um, and we did that because uh, my dad grew up in Philly and so I, I knew that community and saw, um, got the opportunity to see young people there who were learning about green stormwater infrastructure and trees and all of these pieces and many of them said to us we didn't know about that before we joined but what was most exciting um, was not just that they were growing and developing but that they were able to get the kind of jobs that allowed them to give back to the city that they grew up in and um, to do so with good jobs, the kinds of jobs that you can raise a family on, the kinds of jobs that allow you a career, the kinds of jobs where you don't have to hustle and do two and three things to make ends meet. And so we are really proud of you as individuals, and we are so excited about what each of you and what all of you together contribute to making this city a Green New Deal city. The Green New Deal 
is about making sure that people don't have to choose between addressing climate change and putting food on their table. We believe that it's possible for both of those things to be held together. And you are the physical embodiment of the hopes and dreams that the mayor and the administration has for what is possible in the city. So we're here to celebrate you, and really, it's just the beginning. We know that there are bigger, better, and higher things that you will achieve. And I can't wait, not just to see you today and to take the pictures, but to hear about your progress as you go out and get jobs across the city that help our, make our city greener and just for all of us. Thank you so, so much. Thank you, Chief White Hammond. Appreciate that. Always um, right on point with all of the words. I appreciate that. Um, today, we have two graduates that are going to share a few words about their experience and their, 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 um, their journey here. Um, I'm very proud of both graduates, uh, and I'm very proud of their progress. A lot of times, um, the magic happens, you don't see it happening. And with this first person that I'm going to invite up to the stage, I saw a lot of magic happen, and she wouldn't admit it, but I'm going to say um, you'll, you'll see some of that energy that's, that I had the opportunity to witness. So without further ado, I would like to welcome to the stage uh, graduate, participant, member, Naomi Adestein. Thank you. Um, so I would like to start off by saying it's been a long six months for all of us. And um, I want to first acknowledge the hard work that we as a collective had to do to get to this point. Because it's not about where you started, but where you're going. There's many hurdles and challenges we face in life. They're not meant to break you, but build you up. I was at my lowest point and on the break of giving up when I found Power Core. Staff members helped me overcome many boundaries, many barriers that wouldn't allow me to succeed. Crew leaders helped me find my voice and my confidence. Participants helped me push the boundaries of understanding the differences of opinion. Power Core partners helped me hone my skills, which would now allow me to even a playing field for people like me. And of course, my son keeps me motivated to keep tracing my dreams, to also allow him to chase his. As a single parent, there's a lot of behind the scenes hard work people don't get to see. I remember, <clears throat> I remember showing up to my interview for Power Court an hour early, my son on my hip, and praying the whole time for a chance and that my son doesn't act a fool while he's sitting on my lap. That chance turned into our executive director telling me, don't worry, we see you, it's okay, we're gonna work it out. Support services helping me find childcare, me waking up every day at 3 a.m. to ensure my son and I are ready and on time, and the greatest opportunity to be standing here today giving this speech. This journey wasn't a cakewalk. The hardest part of the, the hardest part is never the challenges. The hardest part is keeping your cool to solve those challenges. There were many moments where things didn't go as according to plan, where my son couldn't start daycare and I was stuck figuring out where he would be while I was in power core. Of course, life is stressful as it is, but sometimes you have to pivot and keep it going. Power Corps has given me more than just a chance. This program has given me skills, support, grace, patience, resources, and opportunities. My next step is to 
continue building a better foundation for my son, as well as building resources to allow access and opportunities to connect to education, training, childcare, shelters, and jobs for people in need. Sometimes it takes that one person, that one program, that one job, that one chance to change the course of someone's life for the better. Having been that person going through those experiences is one of my biggest missions to help pull people behind me up just like I was pulled up. More of the story is people are tied to your success as you are tied to others. So stand firmly and strongly in your greatness. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> well done. Whew. I want to mention this real quick. Um, the young folks that are sitting in front of us right now, they have one thing in common. Well, a few things in common. Um, besides being graduates and working really, really hard, um, one of the things I can generalize, I can say, and I want you to pay attention to how they connect with each other. When they came to the program, they very few knew each other prior to this uh, six months experience. And as a result, you'll see the camaraderie and, and, and the love that's really um, built from that. So um, I'm very proud of that. I'm very happy to see that. Our next speaker, uh, LONS, that's um, an analogy for these of the new school. Um, if anybody hip hop, I know Chief knows about that. Um, hip hop is what we do. And this is, uh, young man is um, one of the leaders of the new school. Uh, I think about it because he came in. He may be one of the youngest members that we had, but uh, don't don't use that as an example uh, or, or, or a method of his expectations because um, everyone has high expectations regardless of how they come. We expect him to do well. And I'm very happy to, to welcome to the stage Mr. Jaden Barber. doing um good 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 my name is Jaden barber and i was a part of cohort three first things first i'm glad y'all can make it here and see all of us take the next step as you all know we are graduating today and that's something special i have a short little background to go over i would just like to reflect on the times i had in this program and what made it special and helpful for me you see i came into this program directly after high school this was a good choice for me because I didn't have the grades to, for college and I didn't know what trade I, want, I wanted to focus on. I started out in urban forestry on the urban forestry side of things then transferred to building operations. Davo had approached me with a challenge and an opportunity that I didn't have to take. But seeing that it was right there, attainable, with enough hard work, I took it anyway. The process was a challenge and it wasn't easy by any means learning completely unfamiliar topics and taking classes for such a short period really puts the pressure on you. It got me frustrated a couple times, I'm not gonna lie. Plus the personal improvement plan or the PIP that I was on just added to the frustration. So I thought to myself, you know, this is real funny. No way are you gonna get suspended from a program that's only six months. I have myself and my power quote people to reinforce that idea. You see, if you come to this program, you are not the only one thinking in your best interest. Everyone around you is, because the mission is to put you in a position to win. That's what they do as a workforce development program. Let me tell you something. I had my crew leader worried about me, making sure I stayed on top of my game. I never seen no boss like that that shows actual concern. The fellow BOS participants were leading by example, and whenever I got off task, I could ask them for support. And my urban forestry people had me cracking up every Friday, taking tension off tests I had to go through, even if just for a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> 
What I'm trying to say is, it's a real community here that takes pride in what they do. And it's always working in your best interest. The support system they have here is amazing. The partners they have here is amazing. And the people they have here is amazing. Through them, I was able to do better for myself and guarantee an internship with Snyder Electric. And I don't know if y'all know, but to be playing a position like this out the high school, it's kind of crazy. It's kind of. So to end it off, shout out to my BOS people. Shout out to my urban forestry people, the staff, the partners that showed up for the graduation. Shout out to my family for being here. Shout out to Miss Kiki, Miss Green, all my other instructors, and Mr. Dable, Mr. 9.5 for presenting this BOS. I saw y'all, thank you. Let me get my composure together, you know. Whew. Man, back to back, back to back. I brought the fire, I brought the fire, man, listen. The beautiful thing about uh, these two young people who spoke, I can um, go out of limb and say that they're speaking for a, a group of young people that support them all the way through the process. So, you know, it wasn't enough stage for everybody right now, but you all should be very proud of the accomplishments you've done. You did wonderful. Well, one of my favorite times. I have the honor, the wonderful honor, um, and this is our third time making this connection, so um, I'm very ex excited to say that um, from the beginning, our honorable Mayor Michelle Wu has been a supporter of Power Corps. She's been um, avid about making sure that she supports our graduations. In fact, um, she, this is the third one, and she's been at all three, and I'm very happy that she has, because it matters, it matters. If you get the support from the top, we'll show up, and we'll make sure it happens. Um, so without further ado, I would like to welcome to the stage our mayor, Michelle Wu. Welcome, and as Joe was saying earlier, welcome to your house, the people's house. I'm, I'm excited, this is the first time that we're doing it here, and I just wanna make sure you all feel this is the space that, where decisions happen, where a lot goes on, budget decisions, major legislation, all the stuff that the city council is leading on. But most of all, it is, it is for you to come and be here anytime you want to step into the roles that we are so eager for you to take on. Um, I've, I've heard the chief and, and Reverend Whiteham and say many, many times that this is one of the programs that makes our work worth it every single day. This is truly one of the proudest accomplishments that the city of Boston has, that we could take an idea that we got from a different part of the country and make it really into what Boston needed. And you all are the, the seeds, the blossoms, the talent that are making that possible every single day. As uh, Jaden was saying, when we put you all on a path to win, it really, it, 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 puts all, it puts the whole city on the path to win. The futures that you're building for yourselves, for your communities, are going to create the life and the opportunity, the safety, the health that every single person in our neighborhoods deserve. And we are relying on you, we are depending on you to make sure that we're, we're building the future that really is what Boston could be. So um, every year I get to go through some of the stats just to give a, a sense to some of the family members and supporters of what exactly happened over these last six months. Uh, yeah, over the last six months. So I'm told that you all worked on planting and pruning more than 70 trees, removing nearly 200 bags of invasive plant life, receiving tree climbing and chainsaw training. On the building operations track, 
making sure that your certifications in building operations, performer, performance, and energy efficiency can help get the whole city to where we need to be. There is no nobler calling than in building the future that all generations will be able to have. And um, I'm so grateful to you all for helping to grow and evolve this program. Because of you, Power Corps Boston is better equipped to prepare so many of our young people for green jobs of the future. And I'm excited to announce, although maybe you all will just be more relieved that you're through this already, Power Corps program is gonna go from six months to 10 months long, starting in the future, because we have that much more that we wanna make sure our graduates get. So you're welcome to come back for round two if you wanna do another 10 months. <laughs> This will be an even more comprehensive experience for hands-on learning, for connections, for those job opportunities, and we expect all of you, we ask you to come back and be mentors, to reach back out and make sure that when you are off on your, your internships, your jobs, the success that you're having, you can come be those shining examples for that next crew six months in, eight months in, ten months in, to believe that it's possible and to see what impact it has. We're here to celebrate with you all, and whether you're staying with Power Core as a assistant crew leaders or you found your work and next steps in, in other jobs and sectors, I just want to say thank you because you make this city and all that we dream of real. And I can't, I can't wait to celebrate all the successes that you have all along the way. Congratulations. Thank you, Mayor Wu. Now. Y'all ready? Huh? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Before we before we get into this part, um, I just want to get one. I just get one shout out for us, right? I'm gonna start it. Y'all know how we do it. Power. Thank you, man. I'm gonna miss that from cohort three. So. <laughs> The reason we all came here, we're about to make sure that we acknowledge these young folks. And I'm going to call to the stage um, the man with the plan who made sure that every day uh, there was an action plan that we executed very well. Shout out to the Power Corps staff. Y'all know, you know how that goes. Every day. So without further ado, without further ado, I'd like to welcome to the stage my executive director, David Jefferson. Yeah, David, right? <laughs> Get this going, man. How's everybody doing today? Great. Uh, Joe's a really good friend of mine. He knows a, me by a few different names. Um, he chose to share David here today. Um, I'm Dave o. Jefferson. I'm an executive director of Power Corps. I'd like to welcome you all to our Cohort 3 graduation. Um, a few things I'd like to share before we call the graduates up to accept their certificates. Um, I'd like to thank the elected officials that are in the building. Um, so first and foremost, and in particular, uh, Mayor Michelle Wu, one, for being a champion for Power Corps and always raising our program up on platforms such as this, and then two, for making Boston uh, the greenest city in the country. I'd um, like to thank uh, Councilor uh, Kendra Laura, uh, and all, also acknowledge um, Chief Hammond White, and we also have Kenzie Bach in the building as well, um, former city council. I don't want to butcher your new title. Uh, Dr. Bach, but uh, highly important to the work that we do and intricate to Power Corps being started here in Boston. So I want to just acknowledge everybody that's up here. In that regard, I'd like to thank our education partners for assisting us with uh, the theoretical training. Uh, our participants were on college campuses pretty regularly. Jada, come up, have a seat. Um, pretty regularly, they were learning about. Uh, Hold on, let me take my notes here. How climate change affects our environment and what we can do as a community to address it. I'd like to thank our project partners and our internship partners, in particular, a Better City. I see Eve in the building. How you doing, Ms. Tori? Um, uh, project site, Better City. Um, so with those... Um, 
project sites and internship partnerships, uh, we were able to uh, get our members hands-on experience out in the workplace, so I, I want to thank you all for uh, those partnerships. I'd like to thank our community partners for providing us, our members, with uh, resources they need to navigate any obstacles that they may have encountered while they were going through power court, things like food insecurity, uh, housing, health care, court-related issues. And that department was led by uh, Ms. Jessica Saria and Jeremy Thompson, so thank you for you folks for leading that department and connecting our members to those resources. I'd like to thank our employer partners for helping us with our training along the way, uh, but most importantly for hiring our young folks once they complete this program into livable wage uh, employment opportunities. Absolutely like to, I got a, a education partners, that's, so I'll go back. <laughs> so uh, I just got reminded, maybe I should mention some of the education partners. So RCC and MIT, and also UMass Amherst, uh, uh, Newton campus, uh, Mount Ida campus, excuse me. And our employer partners for hiring folks after they graduate from the program and allowing us to get that hands-on experience. And I absolutely would like to thank our funding for helping us to finance this opportunity for our members. So that would be Liberty Mutual, AmeriCorps, the City of Boston, and the federal government also helped. And Peggy Hines Watson and, and Josie were the folks that were leading those processes. So thank you to, to both of them. Peggy and Josie are the, the behind the scenes glue to our program. So high level shout out to, to both of those ladies. Um, I'd like to thank our family members, the friends and advocates who supported our members while they were going through this program, and I'd like to thank you guys for coming out today to support them in, 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 in person for this graduation. And lastly, I'd like to thank our graduates for coming along with us on this journey. Um, many of them didn't understand what they were getting into, but they trusted the Power Core process and came along with us. And six months later, surprise, 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 surprise. <laughs> Yeah, we made it. Um, so I want to thank you all for investing in your future and in, in our city's environment. Um, so without any further ado, Miss Shannon Fitzgerald, no, sorry, actually, uh, Mooj. Mooji, where you at? Come on up, brother. Reek, come on up, brother. You guys stand right here. Can I have you folks stand right here? Miss Lara. Miss Bob. No, you guys can come right here. They're just gonna come right here. You guys can come right here. See if these are right, written in the right direction. So, surprise, surprise to me, these are not in alphabetical order. So, <laughs> so I'm just going to give the certificate, and you guys will give the correct person a certificate later on. All right. So, Jaden, you're up. Jaden, Jaden Barber. Uh, yes, you're going to pass it. So you're gonna come this way, yeah. Jaden, go have your seat, bro. Get yourself. They're in order by last name. They're oh, order bam, great. You can have a seat there, bro. Brenton. Chief, you got this? Yep, okay. I'll give, I'll give you a minute. <laughs> Gene, you're up. This is this is this is Urban Forestry. Just read the name of the Yep. I'll just call him. Just call him. Jamil. 
Jamison Williams. Got it. Yeah, and they're not in order. They're not in order. Got it. But that's not the order here, so I'm going to just go. Mr. Melvin Harrison, Jr. Later. Yes, sir. <laughs> this is not good. Slater Montina. Come up and accept your award, brother. Congratulations to you. And that was our building operations cohort. Um, that was led by Mr. Mujahab Muhammad, who is our manager of projects, and Mr. Tariq Ramsey, who is our crew leader. So thank you guys for, for leading these young men in that journey. <laughs> Ms. Fitzgerald, come on up. These are not in order. Yes. So we have here Ms. Shannon Fitzgerald. She is the crew leader. And the crew that she led is the Mighty Morphin Flower Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> so first up, we have Antoine. Antoine, come up, brother. No, because they're kind of going that way. Next up, we have Derag. Congratulations. Pierre Louis. Um, next up, we have Gasly. Gasly, come up. Fleurimon. It's with an F. And next, we have Jackie. Let me find Jackie's last name. Got you. So, Jacqueline Morningstar. The next one is Joanne. Hey, Jackie, congrats. Monastar, just give him a set. We'll get into him later. Yes, we can. And next up is Lily. Lily, come up. Miss Bonilla. Oh, Joanne, sorry, Joanne, Joanne, sorry. I didn't even see it. She skipped it. She... <laughs> What's your last name? Jacqueline, no, Lily. Jackie's right there. Just give him to him. Oh my yeah, goodness. Just give him a sec. Hey, Lily. Yeah. Yes, yes. So these are all mixed up, Chief. They're all mixed up. Uh, Sean. Next up, it's going to be Sean. His last name's Bradley. Yes. Yes. That's the end of your crew. So thank you, Shannon, and um, the Mighty Morphin Flower Rangers. Next up, we have Richard Sharif. Come up, Rich. And Richard's crew. Rich, your green elements. Yes, sir. So Richard Sharif, he's our crew leader, and his crew that he led is known as Green Elements. Who's up? Dimitri. Demetrius Fulton. Anijah McLean. <laughs> Jamon, you're up. I'm trying to find it. 
Bing. Congratulations, brother. Shimon Bing. Who's after him? Naomi? Next up, Miss Naomi. You heard her a little earlier. That's hers. Next one is Algorin. Tito Algorin. Congrats. Who's after Tito? Who's after Tito? Shamari Struthers. What's Treshawn's last name? Mr. Treshawn Braxton. Who's after Trey? Who's after Trey? Congrats, brother. Congrats. Congrats. And that concludes Richard's crew. So next up, we are going to have Mr. John Arroyo and Mr. Huh? No, that's the easy staff. And Mr. Shira, um, SJ, you're coming up. Um, Sajad Sharifi, that's his last name. So these were our two crew leaders for this crew and the crew that they led with some old souls, referred to as SOS. Who's your first person? Um, Who? Arnaldi, my fault, Arnaldi, go on. Arnaldi, you up. Last name? I don't know, I'm trying to find it. Duran. Who's after him? I can't see them. Uh, Daquan, you up. Dixon. Daquan Dixon. Jasmine Cummins George. Great job. What's Jamari's last name? Huh? Jamari Lagor. And what's Mary Common? We have Mary Carmen Sanchez, a.k.a. Lou. Who's next? Congrats. Next, we have Ricky Bradley White, a.k.a. Slick. And next, we have Mr. Tyrese Bullock. So that would conclude our list of graduates who have completed the Power Code program. I want to give one more. Hold on, let me give these folks a minute. Y'all all set? No, no, y'all all set? Just give you a minute. Kendra, you all set? Councilor Laura? You all set? Well, it's conversation. Okay. Dr. Bach, you all set? <laughs> Honorable Mayor Wu, you all set up here? You guys all set? <laughs> yeah. Um, so next up, I want to call up a really important part of our program. These were folks who had completed the program and were brave enough to come back for a second bite of the apple, and we actually elevated them in their role. And so these folks are crew leaders. We have what's referred to as assistant crew leaders. So I want to have them come up and acknowledge them publicly. So we got Keita, we got Makai, and we got Mr. Iman. Thank you guys for, for all of the great support that you provided to our program participants and all the work that you guys done to get yourselves to those positions. I want to call the rest of our... 
You guys all set right here? You guys all set? All right, cool, cool. I'm going to continue with the program. <laughs> I want to call some more of my staff up. So Peggy, Hines, Watson, and Josie, they lead our data and operations team. Pretty much the glue, as I mentioned, to our program. They help keep the train on the tracks, make sure the bills are paid, uh, people get their checks every week. Peggy, you're being, being dang. <laughs> Peggy, you're being danger getting jumped. Them checks are not right. So super shout out to these folks. They really help to manage a lot of our processes to make sure folks uh, are on course. Everybody here completed uh, what's referred to as AmeriCorps hours, so they all will receive a education stipend as well that they can continue their education wherever they want to afterwards, so round of applause for that. Um, I want to bring Mujahab Muhammad up. He is a manager of uh, a projects team, and so he's, in, in particular, he led our building operations training um, along with uh, Tariq Ramsey. But Mujahab really took a part of what we do here uh, in terms of managing our teams. Who am I missing? And we have Taylor Powers up here. He's our director of workforce development, so he finds our employer partners. And then lastly, we have Joe Rao. Joe, where you at? What's up? Joseph. We have Joseph. Yes. We have Joseph Rao. <laughs> Joseph, Joe Lee's our workforce development trainer, so he teaches a bunch of soft skills stuff, resume writing, uh, mock interviews. He set up a fabulous career fair that had uh, about 19 or so uh, employers that were looking to hire folks like the people that we just trained. So this is the team that does it. So I want to give a, a, a big round of applause to this whole unit of folks. And I want to bring to the last two people up. Um, like, wow, without these two people, a lot of the folks that are going through our program might not be able to make it through our program. They help to remove a lot of the obstacles, et cetera, um, out of the way. Rich ain't up here. Rich, come up here, brother. Why you, how you end up in your seat? And Shannon. And you, Tariq. I don't know how y'all got back in them seats. Jeremy, I don't know who you're going to get to start filming for you now, um, but Jessica Saria and Jeremy Thompson, please come up. These are the two people, as I mentioned, they remove a lot of the hurdle, hurdles out of folks' way. Uh, hurdles, sorry. Uh, uh, Court-related things, housing-related things, childcare-related issues, housing-related issues. Uh, just sometimes somebody just needs a person to talk to. They're that ear uh, that you could pull those problems into and, and get some solid sound advice or direction on how you might be able to resolve it. So super shout out to these folks. and. Um, And then lastly, um, Richard Sharif and Shannon Fitzgerald, they are two of our crew leaders and, and they have uh, fabulous crews that they've led over the last six months. So this is PowerCore Boston, this is who we are. Thank you guys again for coming out to support our, our graduates in their, their moment of success here. Thank you for all of the, the folks uh, in elected positions that helped to make this happen. Highly appreciate you guys' support and always being a champion for PowerCore. And without any further ado, I'm going to conclude this. I will say that you do not have to go home. <laughs> but if you want your ticket validated, your parking ticket, you might want to get out of here quick because it's only for three hours. Thank you, guys, and, uh, and have a great rest of the day. Happy holidays.